family do people think you act and look most like? Maybe your dad or mom, maybe a grandparent? Well, ever since I've gotten a lot thinner up here, people tend to think I look a lot more like my dad than my mom. My three daughters and even my granddaughter, they've inherited some expressions and some actions that come straight from my wife that just melt my heart. And that's probably why they can wrap me around their little finger so easily. I loved them even before I knew their name in their mother's womb. But even if I never knew them, it wouldn't change the fact that they're mine. They come from me. They're my family, my own flesh and blood. In the Old Testament today, God gave the Hebrew people his commandments through Moses and established a sacred covenant agreement with them. Yahweh would be their God and they would be his people. And to seal the deal between God and his people, Moses built an altar which is a symbol of God's presence. Moses splashed the blood from sacrificed animals on the altar and then sprinkled it on the people as a reminder that all life comes from God and as long as they kept his commandments God would give them his blessing and protection. But this covenant sacrifice was not perfect because although they were God's chosen people now the blood from all the sacrificed animals in the world could not take their sins away. But if we fast forward to the gospel we find Jesus is not only participating in a sacrificial Passover meal with his apostles and his friends and his family, he is also actually becoming the perfect covenant sacrifice himself. The Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. That's right, Jesus fulfills and replaces the old imperfect sacrifice of animals with his own perfect sacrifice of flesh and blood on the cross through his death, resurrection, and ascension into heaven. And ever since then, for the past 2,000 years, we who are baptized into his body, the church, have followed his instructions to do this in memory of him. Do this, that is, to gather together to celebrate his word in sacred scripture and thankfully partaking in his body and blood in Holy Communion while we celebrate the Eucharist at this holy sacrifice of the Mass. And through faith and the power of the Holy Spirit we are changed by what we hear and we become what we eat and drink. This transformation only happens because Christ is not giving us a thing in the Eucharist. He is giving us Himself. His resurrected glorified body, blood, soul, and divinity really and truly present in the appearance of bread and wine. So we're not alone ever, ever now because Christ lives within us. We are in communion with each other because we are in communion with the resurrected Son of God, the second person of the Blessed Trinity, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He is the eternal gift of the Father through the Holy Spirit that makes us God's own family, His own flesh and blood. And just as people see my dad in the way that I look and act, or the way I see my wife in the expressions and the actions of my daughters, we can see Christ in the way we love one another. And when we go out into the world and help people in need, or forgive those who have hurt us, or feed those who are hungry, we are acting just like Jesus. And when people see the good that we do out of love for the least of our brothers and sisters, it may cross their minds and their hearts that we look a lot and act a lot like Jesus. And rightly so. After all, we are His own flesh and blood.